228 and uh, I'm here with Jed Evanston. Hi, uh, Jed. How are you, sir? Fine, thank you. How are you? Everything's good. We've done some days under about three or four. Get a second win. Yes, sir. Exciting. Absolutely. And uh, so, y'all are known for some of the best trailers in the world for uh, Well, actually, I'd have to say that Blue Hunter has a family business. It's known as one of the top end trailers in the world. They do an excellent job in the big kids of the PLTA and the Cowboy Christmas. <laughs> High school rodeo families, union rodeo families, they do a lot for the community breaking. That's awesome. And as well as cutting and arranging. They're not outside in the home field. They're big Yes, sir. They do well. Yes, sir. I've seen the video of, uh, of your uh, back. It's pretty impressive. Yes, sir. Uh, that, that's Bloomer's factory, and uh, you know, they, they're got to take pretty much state of the art field, but it's just pretty much hand made. You know, they don't have robots running the building. You know, there's people doing that. Yes, sir. They're, they're built to blow. And made in Texas, right? Yes, sir. That's yes, sir. awesome. Absolutely. So, uh, there's, so they're not just horse trailers, they're also a living quarter, too. That's true. Uh, as a dealer, I represent Wheeler's Trailers and White Bell Ranch Supply. And then, of course, we, we work with Wilmer. And then there's another partnership involved uh, called Outlaw Conversions. They're based in Stephenville, Texas. And quite frankly, they kind of have the same reputation as Bloomer does in the trailer business. In the Do they interior. have a bug bed, too? They're the best for that. Yes, sir. And uh, basically, they're all they're in the business of making the living quarters as well? Yes. Uh, they, we, we built the shell in with Bloomer, and that's done in Salado. And so you'll have all your exterior and everything. It'd be like somebody framing a house. Awesome. And then when we take it to Outlaw, and then that's like when you get the floor people, the cabinet people, the wall people, they do all that kind of thing. Yes, sir. And turn them into a home in the front to go home. That's awesome. Well, we're going to go ahead and check out all these trailers and see what they're all about on the inside. Yes, sir. All right. Cowboy Christmas. Can All I right. take a tour of my trailer? Let's do it. Let's go. Follow me. <laughs> As you can tell, there's plenty of people taking a look at it. So uh, I'll kind of step back and let you step look up here. This is the nose bedroom that we call them. Uh, this has a Jack and Jill entry, which allows a person to get into the bed from either side. And then we have an entertainment center up there in that bedroom that matches up to the back of this one. As you can see, we've got entertainment center here, full-on working electric fireplace, indoor-outdoor stereo system in these things. Uh, and if you turn this way, you can see we have an oversized slide in this trailer that we are utilizing here. And then we've got an induction cooktop here. In other words, you gotta have the pots to make it get hot. We do that kind of for a safety. If we turn this on by accident, it won't burn anybody unless we have those pots on. Convection ovens, microwaves. The detail you see, this is outlaw interiors or outlaw conversions out of Stephen's room. You can see they leave no stone unturned. They finish them to the teeth. This is the quality of cabinetry you'd find in a high-end home. Other side we got over here, we put an extra slide in this trailer so that we can open this up and give it a true living room feeling for people when they're traveling. 
makes it seem like they're not away from home. They're just out enjoying what they're doing for, for fun. So, Absolutely. This is a combination. We tried to build this where it could be a farmhouse or a modern trailer, depending on how, what type of interior decorations you use in it and that type of thing. As we go back this way, we're going to go through the restroom area. As you can see, we've got a custom toilet seat, big, nice showers, high-end sinks, nice cabinetry, medicine cabinets. So the girls can look pretty. There you go. For all you barrel racers out there. Yes, sir. And as you step back here, I'll let you look. I, I, I don't have this door open. This is a separate entry into the trailer that they can come into what we call like the kids' room in the back. Uh, I don't have it open because I can't see it from the booth, so I'm, I'm concerned about someone falling or something. But uh, Yes, sir. Anyway, they can come in, and also when this trailer slid in on the front, when you're traveling down the road, you can get in through this door and have full access to the bathroom, which is a big deal when you're traveling. Yes, sir. And I noticed a hat rack right up here. Yes, sir. There's uh, a hat rack there. Those things work really well for a cowboy hat. They were designed just for that. There you all go. And they sit there just like they're supposed to be there. Beautiful. This trailer is a bunk, bunk room trailer. Uh, as you can see, we have a, a one person bunk bed here that's a little bit, about a little over oh waist God. high. Uh, it's wired for iPad chargers, phone pad chargers and everything back there. Then we have a big closet here, double rod closet. We have stairs that go up to another full bed upstairs and we have all the little storage deals all the way up. We got a light turned off. It's which one I need to hit. There we go. Lighted staircase going up to the bunk room up top. And that's a full bed up there that sleeps too. A little extra storage space right oh, there, there's folks. There's a ton of extra storage up there. If you open those doors, uh, I, I truly believe I could put a whole other bed up there. What and is I, up there? I may do that. Uh, this is a bed, double bed up here. Bunk bed. We get to this portion of the trailer. This is an outdoor kitchen that we put in. Uh, the idea came from what we call a trainer's tack. And then the idea was that we could build it shorter than a trainer's tack and create the bunk bed you saw inside. Uh, we put a grill on this one. Uh, it's got a storage cabinet here and then a couple of utensil drawers. And then this is a 12, 12 volt refrigerator that's accessed outside. It is 12 volts so that we don't have to vent it. You know, because it doesn't have any natural gas to it. So that's your barbecue in quarters. Yes, sir. And if you look above, we have an armless awning up over this. And so you can slide this out and kind of create your outdoor living space. A lot of the people at full trailers go to the shows and rodeos and barrel races. Then they can set up and cook, have refreshments and everything right here without having to go in and out of the trailer. Yes, sir. about to step into the equine portion of the trailer or the horse area this trailer is a four horse uh, with uh, mangers drop downs PC side load and the big rear tack all right when you get in the equine area you can see that it's all insulated well lit uh, dividers tie hooks uh, pretty good ride for a horse. This trailer does ride on 8,000 pound axles and it is air ride. So the horses are going to have a pretty good time in this trailer compared to another. Be a good ride for them. Yes, sir. All LED lit up nice and bright in here. Yes, sir. We, we try to make it where you can see a lot of these people are going to be traveling a lot. A lot of our customers are leaving in the middle of the summer and they travel till the fall. And so 
they basically live in these things and the horses are in there almost as much as they are. So, yes, sir. Uh, Bloomer tries very hard to make that, that time spent in here for that horse as comfortable as it can be. Absolutely. So what we got on the floor? Uh, this particular trailer has just the standard rubber mats. Uh, we do have the ability to do worm floor, Equiflex type flooring in the trailer. Uh, we didn't do that in this particular one because I have customers are kind of split about, you know, who wants worm, who wants Equiflex, and yes, sir. things like that. But when you put those floors in, it, it kind of seals this up where you don't get stuff under the mats and stuff. Just makes it a little easier for maintenance purposes. Absolutely. And for the dividers, we got aluminum. Yes, sir. These trailers are aluminum. Uh, like I say, these are all manufactured by Bloomer at their facility in Salado. And everything in here is, is done in Salado by Bloomer Trailer Manufacturer. Right. And they do a good job. Y'all can see that these uh, welds are all handmade. Yes, sir. Not machine made. Yes, that's correct. And uh, what about for the feet? Uh, we have mangers here that you can see if you move a little closer. Uh, they, this, this particular trailer has mangers on all four stalls. Uh, they're set up with drains here in the back as well, so you can uh, you can feed in these, you can water in these, uh, you can do whatever you want. So when we get to the outside, you'll see the, the bloomer window, which is uh, very handy as well, the way it works. This is the last bit of this trailer that I would like for y'all to see. You can see here, you can see a big sign with a green cap that says diesel only. This trailer is operating on an 8K diesel on and generator that will run this entire trailer. As we move forward, we get to what I call, what we call manger storage. You can open these doors and we, we create some storage. This is below that manger or feed trough on the inside of the trailer this is what's below it and as you look forward you'll see that we have our bridle hooks up here and then we also store our air ride control in this particular manger right here But not least, we have the bloomer drop-down windows. Yeah, let me let me do a different one. We have a fold-down like so, and then we have the bars here, which will keep the horse from getting their head out and possibly being struck in the eye by some debris or something like that. The beauty part of the way this window is designed is this is it's solid in here, and you can see there's no rattle, nothing with this thing. But if I need to get into this, let's say I want to put a bucket of water or a chip of hay, I can open that window like a door. That is I have awesome. free access to that animal's head if I need to put a halter or whatever I might need to do. Yes, sir. Makes it much easier. Yes, sir. And then the last piece of this is we have the spring-loaded tie hooks. Tie your horse here if they back up. It's got a little give here. We have those on both sides of this room. This trailer's running on 19.5 Alcoa wheels and Continental tires. Uh, those are kind of truck rated. Uh, we build them that way because a lot of the truck stops and stuff, when you're traveling the interstates, you're going to have these tires in stock, so it's, it's easy enough to get a, a replacement out on the road if you happen to need one. Yes, sir. The final parts of the trailer that we can get to from this side. As you look here, this is the other entry door that I mentioned when we were inside. 
This has a keyless deadbolt lock system on it as well. And then we have standard key locks here. I would open this, but I know there are people in there. And if I open this, they're gonna start coming out of that door. And I'm trying to keep them from doing that. I don't have to step, I don't want someone to fall. We're kind of tucked in behind this pillar here, but we have a city water connection right here. So if I'm pulled into a campground, I can run a hose to a campground water line and that will pressure up and run water to the trailer. The second one right here is a, a spigot that is fed by a 51 gallon tank in the hay pod for people to pull water from right here and they can turn around and water the horse right here real close. Uh, and also a little I misspoke about this water connection because we have another one this water connection I put a hose in and it fills this overhead tank and then there's an overflow that will, you'll see water starts come down between the tires there when it's full and they know to turn it off so they don't have to climb up top to, to put that up there. your sewer holding tank and your gray water tanks are both under there you can see that big power cord laying there. That's a 50 amp power cord. This trailer does run off of the 50 amp service. Uh, what we call the big rear tack. Uh, this particular unit has a, a double set of saddle racks. And we got blanket bars, tons of bridle hooks, brush trays, storage trays, but uh, there are many different designs of this tack. Some people will put a single saddle rack, shelving, uh, it's just a personal preference. And when we build these trailers, they're all custom. So the customer can kind of dictate what type of tack room they'd really like to have. And this particular one, we, we put uh, six saddle racks in it so that they have more of that. And as we slide around the trailer, we're going to be able to see you know, we have some other storage in mangers. One of the big deals about pulling the trailers having having spaces to haul all the things you want to take with you. As we come around, this is my water tank that's inside the house. This one is a 60 gallon tank and it is also plumbed to the house. The one in the top to the house as well and they're pressurized if you don't have water connection. And then there's a, another external spigot that feeds from this tank if I need more outdoor water than what I have out of that other tank. This is where our 50 amp power cord connects to the trailer. And then we slide around, we got our, our propane tank, spare tires, dual and electric hydraulic jack. As for the fifth wheel, no, uh, that is the, that is the hitch. Yes, that's a heavy duty hitch that's uh, standard gooseneck, two and five eighths inch long. That's what you look up to and drive away. Safety change, breakaway, brake system. You can see everything in there. 